Hey there! Today we're going to look at how to quickly and easily create an animated video using Keynote. So if you're on a Mac, you probably already have Keynote, which means this method is also free, which is pretty nice. First, we'll open Keynote, and when you do, you'll be asked to choose a theme. For this project, we'll just stick with the black theme, so say choose, and then in the top right, click document. We're going to change the presentation type to self-playing and set the delay for transitions and builds both to zero. Under slide size, we're going to say custom and change it to 1920 by 1080. And this will provide a nice HD layout so the finished product will be a you know, high quality video. So next, we're going to under uh, insert, we're going to add the video. So we'll say insert, choose, and then find the video. I just saved it to my desktop for you know, easy access, but wherever you downloaded it, find it and say insert. And then you might get this message about uh, iOS. It's, it's really irrelevant, so you can just say OK. So now the video should be loaded to your the background of your slide, or actually just the foreground, but it should be loaded to your slide. And um, we're going to edit this a little bit to you know make it more suitable for our purposes. So under Format, and then Opacity, we're going to set the opacity to 60. And basically what this does is since the slide background is black, this is going to darken the video, which is good because the, you know, the focus of this video is going to be the text. So once we've done that, you can right click the video and say send to back. And you'll notice when you do that, the text kind of comes to the foreground. So now we can start adding the quote. For this particular project, I'm going to use not all those who wander. So we've got that in there, and let's go ahead and add his name. Okay, so at this point you're kind of, uh, it's up to you as far as how you want to, you know, style things. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll add a drop shadow to both of these text blocks, and this is going to add, um, you know, a little extra pop, so, you know, to make, make it more focused on the text. So let's add the blur, let's say 10 point, I'll set, uh, I'll say five, and then I think the opacity is fine. So at this point we can start kind of stylizing the text. Um, Helvetica is nice, but I'm gonna do serif font. Let's go with, uh, I'm gonna go with American typewriter. And then I'll keep the, that font the same. So for both of these, I'm also gonna say left align and then change this to say 160. And again, you can kind of style these. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You can kind of style however you want. All right, that looks that's looking pretty good to me. I think and, you know you can always come back and edit this later if you want to. So now just kind of place it where you think looks good. And then to add visual interest, I'm going to add a, a shape. So under shape. Let's click the square, and of course we don't really want a blue square, so under style we'll say, we'll click the fill color and we'll just say white. So now it kind of matches the rest, let's go ahead and add a shadow, add the drop shadow so it matches the text. And then at this point you just kind of style it, you know, tweak things, the size and the, the length and everything. I'm pretty happy with, with that I think. So now we just kind of move it around until it looks good. Pretty happy with that, that looks good to me. So now it's the, the fun part, which is animation. So the first animation is gonna be the video, but it should already be set up. Let's just check it though. So under animate, yes, okay, so build in, it says start movie, that's the first step. First animation is as soon as they start the video, you want the video to actually play. So that's, that's good. So next we're gonna make the line fade in. So click the line and then again under animate and build in, we'll say add an effect. And for this, we're going to use Dissolve. It's a nice subtle effect. You can kind of see it display there. It's just kind of just fades in. Um, so next we'll do the text. And for this, I'm going to do something different. We'll say Typewriter. And that basically makes it look like the type, I mean, the, you know, the text is being typed. But that was pretty fast. So let's change it to three seconds. And then finally for the author text, I'm just going to say Dissolve again. It's a nice effect, so why not? And then finally, we'll click the video again, and this time we want to click Build Out, and you'll say Add an Effect, and Stop Movie. 
So now we have all the animations in there and we just need to kind of tweak the timing of them all. So we'll, um, to do that, we'll click build orders down in the bottom right. And you should see all these different animations. So starting with the video where it plays. But we'll wanna change start to after transition. And then for the shape, we'll wanna change it to after build one. And let's set the delay to one second. And then for the main text block, we're gonna do the same thing. Build two, after build two, and delay one second. And same thing for the author. After build three, one second. And then finally for the the, the you know the video to stop, we're gonna say after build four, but let's set the delay to five, five seconds. And what this is gonna do is when the text is done typing, um, if you don't if you don't set a delay, the video would just end right there. But we wanna give it some time um, so the, you know, the song can keep playing and people can make sure to read it before the animation ends. So that's why the five second is there. So after that, we're actually basically done. Um, we'll hit play and we can kind of see a preview of, of what this looks like. So the bar fades in, the video is playing in the background and that text starts typing, which is you know pretty cool. And then the author fades in. And then as you can see, the, the video is still playing for a little while. So this just kind of gives people a time to you know, read the quote and everything. So finally, uh, we're gonna add some audio to just you know spice this video up a little bit. So under document and audio, you'll see the soundtrack uh, area here and this is where once you've downloaded the song and be sure to check the the blog for instructions on how to do that you can download it to wherever you want again I just saved it to the desktop for easy access but wherever it is you'll just click it and drag it and then it's in there and that's actually that's it that's all it takes so at this point um, I'm gonna go and save it because I haven't yet so uh, you should probably save it you know, as you're working on it, but it's up to you. And then finally, uh, file, export, and you'll say export to QuickTime. Now be sure that you have uh, these, you know, these delays are set to zero. And let's go ahead and change the format to 1080p for higher quality. So you'll say next. And uh, name it whatever you like and export. And uh, you know, this is gonna be great because quotes do really well on Facebook and Twitter. There's a lot of research to back that up. If you're using those networks, you probably already know that anyway. Um, and then video, you know, recently there's kind of been a surge of video and it's also performing really well. So I just kind of thought, why not combine the two? And this is a, a really easy way to do that. So that's pretty cool. And uh, of course, you know, for all your future animations you make, if you want some uh, free, free music to use for it, free royalty free music, be sure to check out musicformakers.com and, and sign up if you haven't yet. I send a free song every Monday. So, uh, you know, you don't, you don't have to worry about licensing or digging through audio libraries or anything like that. So it's, you know, I think it's pretty handy. I'm a little biased, I guess, but you know. So anyway, this is almost finished. And it's done. So now we're gonna look at the finished product. Okay, and that's really all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this tutorial. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to uh, try to help. And anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you for the next video tutorial. See ya.